Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, see you folks. Sampler platter videos. Here's the videos I do for the one hour where I go over there, I try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that at the time I'm doing this, folks, anybody else remember that dumbass song from like the late 90s, early 2000s, the Move It, Move It song? I think it was on DDR. I didn't play a lot of DDR. Not really built for DDR. Even back in those days. It was a little bit trimmer. It's a little bit trimmer. I wasn't doing a food review show, so that probably helped things. But, anyway. I'm going to review some stuff. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm inside the truck. I'm also wearing a work shirt. But actually... Normally, when I'm wearing a work shirt and I'm inside the truck, it's because, oh, I was on my way home from work and I found a thing. Not the case today. I went to hunting, folks, because this item just came out, and damn it all if I wasn't going to go over there and try to find it early as I could. So, what am I reviewing for y'all today? Well, folks, I like to move it, move it, and apparently so does Coca-Cola, because we got, boom! It's Coca-Cola Move! Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, so this is one of their funky new... Can we get a... <laughs> it's just weird. So anyway, <clears throat> yeah. Um, it's apparently transformation flavored. And this is part of their whole weird thing that Coca-Cola's been doing. Uh, it started last year where they just have these weird flavors that they're releasing. They have like Pixel and then they have like Dream World and like... I don't know, but I love it. I'm going to entirely be honest with you. 100% I'm down with it. I, I'm i not always huge into the flavors that they release. Although I like the Dream World one. I found that one good. But at the very least, this is fun. I like this. I, I'm, <coughs> I'm all about this because I love variety. So for me, the fact that we're getting this Pepsi Peeps, which I did a review of, the Peepsy. Go watch that. Um, you know, I, I love this stuff, man. I'm all down for it. So... And apparently the artwork is done by someone, Rosalia, maybe? Let's find out what transformation tastes like, folks. I swear to God, if this tastes like Starscream again. Never hear the end of it, folks. It's always good to your face, and then it tries to screw you over behind your back. I mean, it smells like Coke, but there's definitely something else there. Let's give it a go, folks. Who? Why? Coconut, maybe? Maybe it was something else? I'm definitely getting sort of a coconut vibe from it. Which doesn't make me super happy if I'm honest with you, because I don't really like coconut all that much. It's, uh, it's definitely one of my not-so-favorite flavors. Use it the right way, I'm down for it. There's this, uh... There's this Thai soup called Tom Ka. It uses coconut milk as the base. Oh, it's wonderful. But just by itself as a flavor. If there's not coconut in this, then apparently there is something out there that tastes very similar to coconut. Maybe, maybe something almost botanical. Like I've had like flowery sodas, uh, Moxie. It's a, it's an old timey soda from Maine. Uh, Stephen King's a big fan of it. Um, that has sort of a flowery aspect to it. This doesn't taste like Moxie, but there is something to it. Like it's like coconut and then like something else, something a little bit earthier. 
I don't know if that's just the way that the sort of, I'm going to, again, I'm going to call it coconut, coconut taste and the Coke blend together, or if it's also a separate flavor, or if it's a completely different flavor than what I'm thinking. Excuse me. If it is something botanical, it's very light. Like, the coconut or coconut whatever flavor is definitely the most prominent aspect. But I want to say there's something else to it. I want to say there's something else to it. And I can't... It's one of those things where either... It's either, like, some wacky ingredient that, like, there's no way I'm going to guess, or it's something close to what I'm thinking, and I'm just not quite nailing it. I'm definitely going to say coconut, though. That is, I'm going to flat out say coconut, which, to be fair, is kind of Starscream flavored, because to your face, it's like, oh, it's coconut. Who doesn't love a silly coconut? You can hit Gilligan on the head with him and make him lose his memory, but then you eat it, and you're just sad. You're just sad. But then you use it in Thai food, and suddenly it's like Starscream from Transformers Armada, where he's like the only Starscream that actually became a pseudo, you know, kind of anti-hero type character. I don't think this is a Starscream from Armada, though. This is just not a thing that... I don't hate it. And the more I drink it, the more I'm kind of okay with it. Because it's, to describe the taste, like, it tastes like Coke. I will say that. It tastes like Coke, and then you get this sort of hit of something else. And it kind of moves throughout the entire drinking experience, but it's more light at the beginning, and then it's more the the aftertaste, where you get the, the stronger aspect. And that's where you get, it starts off very coconutty, and then it sort of, again, I think it has, like, a little something else. I just don't know what else. Or like I said, maybe it's just the way it blends. I really can't say. I can't identify that that other taste. But I'm, def I'm going, I'm going Coca-Cola Coca coconut for all intents and purposes. I can kind of go with it. <clears throat> this definitely isn't my favorite of the weird flavors. I think Dreamland is probably still my favorite. I think that was like a mango-based one. I thought it was like a melon mint. So that goes to show you what the hell I know. But, um, yeah, this one I can kind of go with it. It's not one where... All right, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Would I get it again? Yes, but strictly for curiosity's sake. I don't think it's something where I would get it again just because. Because, again, to me, I'm getting coconut. I'm just not a coconut guy. Even though I do think that they blended it pretty well, it's still... If if you take away the move aspect and all that, to me, it just tastes like coconut, Coca-Cola coconut. That's not... I'm not huge into that. Excuse me. But it is interesting. It doesn't taste bad. I mean, the Coca-Cola aspect of it kind of saves it for me. But as to whether or not I would recommend it to people, yes. Because at the end of the day, it's interesting. It's a limited time item. I think it's worth trying. Even if you're somebody like me who isn't that big into coconut flavor, it's at least worth giving a shot. I don't... Because when it comes to these limited edition items, it's almost not whether or not it tastes particularly good one way or another. It's whether or not it's an interesting experience. I really think that's kind of what sells these things. And for me, this is an interesting experience. And it's one that I'm, I'm glad that I had, even though it's not my favorite flavor. So I, I would suggest giving it a shot. You're weird. You're not as good as Starscream from Transformers Armada. But, you're alright. 
you're all right. You're way better than Michael Bay's Transformers, so that's all that matters. But anyway, five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your year. Folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly Starscream-tastic rest of your life. But again, I'm not talking about your Michael Bay Starscream because Michael Bay is terrible. He's an atrocity that has beplagued humanity. He had one good movie with The Rock, and I'll stand by that. It's a good movie. It's a little stupid, but in a fun way. Excellent cast. And then it's just been sadness ever since. But, final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But, what you do if you can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, that's not always the easiest thing in the world to do. Trust me. I know. I know. But, that's why I put try at the very beginning of that. Because at the end of the day... So much of it is about the effort that we put into it. We're going to fall down. We're going to fail sometimes. It's going to happen. We're going we're gonna to be tempted to be assholes sometimes. But take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there and going to watch my review that I've just done of Coca-Cola Move that I'm doing at this very time. And maybe you're like, I don't know if I'm super into the Coca-Cola with coconut or whatever concept that, you know, he's going on about. But maybe I'll go revisit Transformers Armada. First of all, maybe don't. <laughs> Transformers Armada is one of those series that it has moments. And then it also has a lot of stuff that's not that great. But what you could do you could go over there and play the Transformers Armada PS2 game. I'm sure it's available in some kind of store. That game is way better than it has any right to be. Even though Starscream is just evil in it. They never go into like his heroic aspect. Which is a shame he would have been a fun character to play as. Or conversely, uh, maybe go over there and find yourself some Coca-Cola move and give it a shot. And if you like it, you can go over there and yell at me in the comments section. I got it from Jewel, by the way. 7-Eleven kept saying that they have it, and they don't. At least not when I went to go try it. I went to like three. But Jewel had it. Anyway, bye. <laughs>